If you know me, you know every now and then I do go off the program. It's your boy, what's going on? So we are here back at Warehouse Gym in Dubai. Uh, a little under six weeks out from Giants Live Wembley, July 6th, Wembley, Giants Live, under six weeks out. Clock's ticking guys, I'm getting really excited, it's really close. Um, today, nothing too exciting, just some yoke press, uh, flat bench, dumbbell rows, and some um, dumbbell external rotations to keep my shoulders healthy. Any of you are wondering why I do that at the end? of almost every pressing workout, that's to keep the shoulders healthy. You know, not everything is designed in the program to make you stronger. Uh, something they just kept there to keep you from getting hurt. So, without further ado, let's get to work. I try to keep it in place. Hold on, go ahead. Okay. David, I did the last one. Oh, thank you. My phone's right there on my slippers. Coming across this way, yeah? From inside? Yeah, towards you. I'll hold it. I'll hold it in place. You got it? Yeah. Okay? Good? Perfect. Yeah, perfect. Ready, you can start filming Sharif. Let's get in position. Let's get it. Okay. 
Let's go there. Come on. Easy way. Come on. Come on. Yes! Come on! Come on! All right, guys, so if you know me, you know every now and then I do go off the program. Um, considering it's a bench press, it's not very taxing in CNS, and I don't have to do a heavy deadlift for another, I believe, five days. So, I just bench pressed 675, guys. Yes, I did have a sleeve on um, and elbow cuff, um, but that's mostly to protect my bicep from the inflammation I was getting from doing squats and all the other strongman movements like Atlas Stones. Um, so, haven't flat benched over 500 pounds in months. Honestly, I can't remember the last time I did. Maybe the last time was in Iceland between January and February. I think I did a, a set with Thor for like mm -hmm. five reps, I mean three reps. Yeah. But that's, this is months ago. Um, I have been doing variations of, pre of the bench, heavy incline be press, I did in Bahrain, very heavy, only got I think two or three reps. The dual barbell bench, again, very heavy, 245 pounds each arm, very heavy. It's not exactly a flat barbell bench, but it's still a press, right? And it's still with a barbell, and the dumbbell is a shorter barbell, right? So <clears throat> while I wasn't directly training flat bench, it still managed to get stronger from the other variations. And you know guys, time off from a movement is usually a good thing, right? Sometimes guys will come up to me like, how do I increase my bench, my squat, my deadlift? And a lot of the times, a lot of the time, these are the guys who are deadlifting three, four times a week because they think more is better. More isn't always better, you know? More food is always better. More sleep is always better. But more training is not always better. Sometimes taking a step back is what's necessary. For example, just two weeks ago, I haven't hit a one rep max deadlift. No, I haven't deadlifted in five weeks because I was letting my lower back rest. And I pulled 914. You know, just an ex another example of how rest helps you when it comes to training. So on that note, guys, drop a comment on what you think my next PR will be. Some of you already know if you watched my previous videos, but drop a comment on when you think I hit a 700 pound bench. While I'm still doing strongman, it will always be my biggest passion to increase my squat, bench, and deadlift. All right guys, yoke press on the menu today. So, first two sets feel good. I'm getting better with the timing of my leg drive in the press. Um, one thing I just realized now is I'll probably be getting a down command in competition. That just means you have to hold it at the top, they'll signal you down, then you can drop the weight, for example, Pressing and coming back down before the down command, they won't count that rep. So for this set, I'm gonna practice the commands. Guys, train how you play in competition. Um, something as small as that, like not training with a command and not training that last second of the movement can cost you in competition because guess what? Your other competitors are gonna be doing that. They're going to be training to competition standards. 
they're going to be listening for all the commands and training, and they're going to be prepared. So you don't want to be the one at a disadvantage because you don't want to turn the commands and training. Of course, it's easier to drop as soon as you lock out, but like I said, it's going to cost you in competition because that one second is harder. It does take more energy out of you to hold at the top. With the commands, it's definitely a bit more difficult as you would have expected. When you're holding at the top, you the weights at the bottom and swaying back and forth. So it really forces you to keep everything tight, such as your glutes, your core, and your hamstrings. Because the more stable this is, the less the weight's gonna be swaying back and forth. When that happens, it happened in my last rep actually, my last set. You're gonna take steps forward because the bottom where the weight is at is gonna pull you forward, right? Heavier guys can have an advantage with this event considering a lot of the stronger competitors weigh more than what they're pressing. This is 325 pounds. Most of these strongman guys are at least 340. Whereas me, I'm about 285, 280. Soon that weight starts to push forward gonna to wanna to bring me forward as well, so I have to work hard to keep everything rigid and tight. You can see why strongmen have such big deadlifts. All these movements involve keeping everything very tight and having control over your core, your glutes, your hamstrings, and that's very important with the deadlifts. The tighter and stronger your core, the more you'll deadlift. As soon as your back gives out, right, as soon as uh, there's a Anything that's not tight or contracted, you're gonna miss that deadlift. So I think the more I do strongman training, the more I realize why strongmen have the biggest deadlifts in the game. So you guys may be wondering why I lean back so much when I do rows, because that's where I feel I'm able to get the best uh, contraction. You know guys, a lot of these movements, especially when it comes to machines, everyone's leverages are different. It's not one size fits all, right? It's not, uh, you'll see one person doing this exact same exercise and it'll look different. That's because they have different leverages. Their arms are different lengths, their torsos are different size, this, that, and the other. So, when you're using machines that are fixed and like a one size fits all, don't worry so much about um, what other people are doing in the gym and how it looks on them. Just worry about however you do it gets you the best uh, contraction. That's most important. As long as you can feel it, where you're supposed to feel it, that's all that matters. If you have to lean all the way back to get a good transaction, great. If you have to lean far forward, sit very upright to get a good transaction, more power to you. As long as you feel where you're supposed to, that's the most important.
All right guys, success with training day today. Big 25 pound PR on my flat bench. Crush 675, 307 kilos. Huge PR, great day. Wasn't planned, but it was speed, I guess. <laughs> no, I just woke up this morning and said, I feel good, let's hit a heavy bench. Um, but what is on the program coming up that I'm really excited to do, and it keeps me up at night, is the 425, 937 pound deadlift I got due Tuesday. Um, definitely makes me anxious because one rep max deadlift PRs are, um, are tough to get, you know, but I'm confident that Sebastian Orib, my current strength coach, he knows uh, what he's doing, he's worked with the best, and if he thinks it's there, it's, I'm going to hit it. I'm um, in sleeping good, eating good, everything feels good, so everything is on track for Giants Live Wembley July 6th, just under six weeks out. God, this is a journey of mine you don't want to miss out on. So thank you for taking this ride with me. Like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, drop a comment, and I'll see you guys soon.